Have you heard about SMP or scalp micropigmentation for hair loss? Today I'm going to review everything about SMP as a hair loss solution. Hi, I'm Dr. Parsa Mohebi from Parsa Mohebi Hair Restoration. I'm going to review SMP or scalp micropigmentation as a hair loss solution. I'm going to go over pros and cons and who is a good candidate and when we can use it. SMP or scalp micropigmentation is when we introduce the dermal pigments into the scalp. That has certain purposes. In hair restoration, we do SMP to minimize the contrast between the scalp and hair and create the illusion of more fullness. If you want to think about it, it's similar to tattooing but is more superficial and the pigments are especially like medical grade pigments. So we introduce the pigments into the scalp through special devices, either to laser assisted device or through a, sp a special needle that goes into patients are usually feeling some pinching at the beginning and then they get used to it. Um, usually takes a few hours, maybe two, three hours for a big area of the scalp. And it needs to be repeated a few times until we get the satisfied, good appearance of fullness. Usually three sessions is what we recommend. The two best groups for SMP are people who don't have enough donor uh, hair to get a full density on the front or top and uh, they get hair transplant but then there's still some see-through. So to minimize that contrast, to minimize the see-through effect, we put some pigments into the scalp to show the appearance of more fullness. The second group that SMP could be used for are people who shave their head to hide their baldness. Most people who shave their head is to hide baldness. So now, if you have this horseshoe pattern or the receding on the corners and you shave your head, the pigments of your existing hair is showing the trace of where you're balding. Now, if you can add more pigments and create the appearance of a good hairline while you shave your head, you can shave your head proudly without announcing that I'm shaving to hide my baldness. Other potential patients who could be benefited from SMP are people who have a scalp scar and they don't want to do hair transplant. So there's a scar on the back, like neurosurgical scars, baby help brain surgeries. There's a big scar somewhere that is giving a contrast. So we put the pigments into the scar and make it less contrasted with the neighboring areas. So it gives them the appearance of full of hair. Or people who have cicatricial alopecia, skin conditions that people lose hair as it like patchy in different areas they're not even candid for hair transplant they cannot do hair transplant but those patchiness of the hair loss is bothering them we can put pigments and minimize that patchiness in fact uh, cicatricial alopecia patients are one of the best candidates for smp because they cannot do much more there's not many other solutions they can use The potential complications of SMP is um, the biggest that will happen to most people is that it may fade over time. So people uh, may need uh, some uh, you know, touch up after the first two years or three years. Uh, occasionally, they may look irregular that if it's done right, it, it will be very minimized. But again, that's something that uh, will be addressed with future procedures. Um, the uh, patchiness of the SMP, if it's done right, it should be very, very minimized. Um, but again, that's something to be considered. I hope I was able to uh, give you a good understanding of SMP or scalp micropigmentation. If you have any other questions, uh, be sure to send them uh, to us through our social media or put on the comment section.